Are you sure? Good. So very good response that you had a very nice breakfast. That's why you are all very enthusiastic and other things. As an engineer, you want to become what? Engineer. Human being. What human being? Human being. What is the difference between engineer and human being? Can be a human being also, but the person who wants to be a human being, he can be from many professions. Only if you are a human being, you can become an engineer. But an engineer is not necessary that you can be an human being. He will be professionally oriented in that. There are so many things in the world which we do not understand what far we are here, what far we are coming. And then we are going on. Just we are coming from others who just grow up, adult, adolescence, adult, then education, all these things, academic career, then go for other life, personal life to academic career, and then a family life, family life to social life, finally. That's all. But within the short period of life, final life, what we are achieving, at least you remember whether there is any good thing for the society. For all for our family, for our friends and other things. So the engineers only can do. Even if you say a medical professional, whatever he does for his state, it will be buried. That's all. But if an advocate says a mistake, and the punishment is behind the bars, that's all. But only an engineer does a mistake then the entire social, the entire organic structure of the economic structure of the country, all the universities totally affected. Whether he belongs to this country or that country or this state or that state, but you have to that only an engineer can be more and more effective contribution towards the growth of the country towards the financial, economical and industrial scenario. In that context, if you take an engineer, what is very, very important thing in any engineer? Hello. Is it on? for you? Yes, sir. Mike is necessary? No, 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 Yes, sir. If, no, sir. No, what, whoever said no, they don't want any disturbances. You will sit for this another one hour. And Aram said, I said, that's it. So, I'm going to have to do more. I'm going to have to do more. Thank you, sir. But if I talk in the mic and audio system and other things, two things. One is my energy is raised in a day. I should not give more sound and other things, so can I admit my amplifier, my volume and truth. I think I can save God. Being a professional, I have to save God my truth and voice, my sound box. So I have to use my. But if I don't use my, it will be better for some of our friends. If I use, it is better for me. So what we have to do? Let me think. Let me benefit for me because I have to go for so many classes, meet so many students, young guys like you. Okay? At the outside, I thank this Multitech University for having given me this opportunity to stand before you and talk on the subject a cutting tool in technology, nucleus of an industry. This is the only university where I can see they are bringing the industry experts and asking them to give lecture on their experiences on that field, particularly whether it's engineering or connected with soft skill training and ask them to give the experience. Sharing experience cannot be get from anywhere else. Even if you go to any company and the employee after this seventh semester or eighth semester after getting your engineering graduations and other things, nobody will teach you what is their experience, how they have come up, how they are doing, and all these things. But this is an industrial and institution relationship 
has been developed by the Triple D Department of River Institute University. That by they are inviting, they are finding out the person, searching for the person in various fields of the industry and asking them to give their experiences, expertise on that field. No books, no Google, even now Sundar Pichai has not done. All these things, the experience and other things, and the cutting tool and other things, in any book, anything you refer, this is not viable. These are all practically oriented. Then why they are giving in this university this one as an elective subject? To make you understand what the industrial scenario is. And make you to ready to face the cha challenges of the industry and give your employment done by going to an interview, going to attend and join joining an industry. That will not give you anything new. You will have the basic moral courage, basic culture, basic characteristics and attitude to meet the challenges. That gives you the self-motivation. That is more and more important for any person. The thing is, Okay? Why? Well, the thing is that you should have self-confidence. That is self-discipline, self-motivation. Unless and otherwise you develop in your academic career the confidence and other things, you cannot come up. The books never but how your knowledge is converted into your skill, but of your experience, but you end up joining any industry doing an engineering work under a big company, under a big boss and other things. No one will come to your rescue and say, come on my dear boy, come on, this is the lay, this is the milling machine, this is the thing, this is what nobody will do. Ah, go and wrap up the book number so and so, page number 250, paragraph 4, see the figure. Nothing will be available, we don't want to speak up. Nothing will be available anywhere, but one experience can be shared. Experience cannot be shared unless and otherwise the person who is there to share his knowledge, we need to share. We need to give ideas. How that can, it will help you. Today, sitting in this room and talking on this thing, where you may see that the body has stopped. This guy who has come from all the way from somewhere else, our <coughs> institution has asked him to give lecture. But whatever we are seeing and talking, listening here, may be useful. In your career, when you are starting from attending your first interview, or your written examinations or objective side of any multinational company, or in your career when you are experiencing the problem, how to solve a problem, how to take your lead. The team leader and other things. So that means the pioneers in, in any industry, in that they have thought, which is the important thing for any industry. They said the important thing for any industry, anything, let it be a cottage industry, or it is a multinational like very big company like the Mercedes Benz and also aeronautics company, or Apache Aerospace, or NASA, wherever you go, a carpenter, or a cottage industry, a person who is there, who is doing, wherever you go, wherever university, wherever you work, the common thing is, what is that one? As a, as in the case of the student's life, any university, by, <coughs> because of my luck and other things in my main company. Because I have worked in Addison company. I have retired from that one. 40 years I have worked in that company as a head of metallurgy being a basically a chemistry count metallurgy graduate. I have worked there for 40 years as head of R&D and metallurgical department. Okay. And then I was a soft skill trainer. I was a trainer there and other things. They have given me after my list. And six years extension in the same company, in the same post. And then completed all my work, then came out of that one, and doing the consultancy for Graphite India Limited Power Steel Division, 
as a construction for street division in Orissa Titlaga and ISO 9000, ISO 14000, PIS, TPM, TPM as a lead auditor. I am a visiting faculty for here in the seventh semester and also a visiting faculty for Central Government of India under the Director, Director of General Education and Development under Prime Minister Modi Skill Development. I am taking classes in all the government units like BHCL, BPCL and HMT, HAL, etc. and so on. All these things I am visiting, I am doing all these things and whatever then learn from the society, I want to return it in one form or other to the society. So our engineers who have done great work, they have found out that the important thing, there may be so many things in the industry, in the civil engineering, one day the basic engineering always survives. In that basic engineering, in either it's a civil or electrical or mechanical, in the basic civil engineering, everywhere if you go on the basic tree, the cutting tools are used. Whether it's a civil engineer, he used the cutting tool in one form or other, or in electrical, or in the mechanical. That's why we can say the cutting tool is the nucleus of any industry. You know very well the nucleus plays a vital one itself. But the role in this determination of anything. Interruptions as in the case of the your HOD has come and given short time. He came because he wants some more guys, students to be come and attend the session that way he came late. Later on that way, later start that. So that as an engineer and other things you are saying, what's an engineer and other things? What is the difference between engineers sir, you need? Engineers are unique in nature. It takes two friends, medical. I have attended because by fortune, given by my parents and other things, I have taken sessions for even for medical students like you. And also I get art students, art of science students, graduate, so many students. But I have seen the real discipline. The real Men are engineers. Because the engineer not pricing that you have to listen to my class, I am not telling you. Even if you chit chat, you can do whatever as our katapoda chat is doing. Uh, that you can do anything, but it will not disturb me because I am a basically engineer. So the tolerance has been got for more than from my college work to my service, 40 years plus another added to, now I am 70. So, at this age, you cannot shake me by your words, by your clapping, by your saying, ha ah, ah, ha, like the nothing. I have seen so many. I was also a student like you. So, the engineers are having the creative mind. They always think what to do, what to can do next, how to go about, all these things. When you are, a tourist said about me and then you have clapped, I have got it. At that time your friends, 15 persons came like this. Whether the clap is for that much part or for me. Both the things, both the things you can take. Today. But an uniqueness should be there. That uniqueness only makes you the leader. That's why he came into the field. He is not a handsome guy like a G. Tala. 
He is not a very good bodybuilder like Shahrukh Khan. He is not a very good dancer like Vijay. He is not a very good player leader like MS Dhoni. But he stood in the field even today. Even today, the newborn baby says, Urdhara Vasunna, Urdhara Vasunna. Still it is there. Why it is there? That is created the record, the uniqueness. That means an engineer. What are the first two words you think? That engineer should be unique in everywhere. In whatever field you are an engineer, whether it is a civil or metallurgy or mechanical, forget about IT. I am talking only civil, mechanical and electrical. Wherever you are, you should think. So what do you think when you hear the word engineer? Can anyone say, uh, forget about human being. That is a general, that is, okay, that is a return. What do you say engineer? What do you think? Just two lines you can say, engineer is a? Creator. Another one? Any one one says, any one. Manasi. Yeah. The person who can create the world, that is engineer. Yeah, person who can create the world, engineer. Destroy. 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 Okay. Inventor. See here, when three persons we ask four persons, the questions are different. The meaning is each one has different versions, different way of understanding what is an engineer, who is an engineer. So it is, are they? The engineers are max building and bridge, corporate and provisional, are they and GK? Too difficult, boring science. Machines and metallurgy, all these things. Even then, some will say, don't know. Then what? Engineers are changing the world, as a person said, creator of the world. All, all the time, they dream of creative, practical solutions, and inspiring people design and create things that matter. So the real engineers are always creative and thinking to do something unique, something better than what they have achieved. Like that, our people who have that, our ancestors, our leaders, our senior engineers, so many engineers before, before and centuries back, they worked together and found out the basic nucleus of an any industry lies with cutting tool. So great salam to those engineers who have found out the basic nature things. Because as our HOD rightly pointed out from my petition, God has created all human beings with a cutting tool. That is our teeth. You can buy anything. You can buy a saw that is very, very tender, like <coughs> plantains. You can buy, but at the same time, you can also buy a very hard bone. A bone of a fish or a bone of a goat, whatever it may be. But you can do it. You can also eat so many things and buy. Sometimes, if you don't like this guy, and simply go by his side, Unboxing. <laughs> as a self protection, as a self AK 45, AK 47, God has given our teeth. Yeah? God has given our 
touching to another one is our nail. But whenever nail is growing, what we are doing? Of course, everyone says it's a bad habit, but still we are doing it. The cutting edge is within ourselves. So cutting tool, every day life we are seeing a cutting tool life. If you take your mother, your daughter, or your sister, whoever works that knives, and also everywhere they are all using plumbing. Your plumber is using a cutting tool. You are electrician, you are woodworking, you are motor work. Everywhere the cutting tool is being used for their protective purposes. And then, if you do it in the context of metal working, so coming to our engineering. So plumber uses, carpenter uses, and also electrician uses. But we are talking about metal working. Basically, a mechanical engineer, a machine shop, or a company, or a textile industry, or any industry, or any kind of So if I cross the boundary line, it will not work. Oh. <laughs> up to this. Up to this. Very good. Very good. Very good. That's the thing. I want to score always six. That's why I cross it. No. Okay. So coming to the context of metal working, why I am cut? Wavelength. Not only that, I want to see all the persons sitting here. Very close to the... Uh, how many of you are still hangover? Just going to meditation. So uh, that is a judgment given. I can assign myself, my internal assessments. How many of you? All the back benches are all in meditation. That, that means the lecture is not good. The way in which I am taking, that is a self-assessment. You have to do your self-assessment, then only you can become a very good engineer. Whatever the drawings you are drawing, whatever the calculations you are putting, before the corrections and other things you do, your self-assessment. So in this context of metal working, a cutting tool is a tool bit. Removal of metal from any workplace by deformation. A cutting tool works removing the metal from the parent material by deformation. That's why it's most important. The important here is to be noted that the cutting stool should have, when you are doing the cutting, the heat will be generated. The heat will be generated between the cutting tool material as well as with the work material then your cutting tool material should have a basic property. Then only it can be called as a nucleus. Then the cutting tool should be manufactured in such a way the work material and the cutting tool should have more harder, harder than the... Suppose if I want to fight with this guy and give him two knocks in the first bout itself, that means I should have more strength than you. Then only I can do it. Clear? Your name is Yuraj? Yes. <laughs> Next. So, the most common method of metal tool is to, you know, cutting tool. Aged cutting tools, that is, that metal made a hard material. It has developed through the ages from today. And that's why the human hand to the present state of our power machine tool forces automatically guides multi-age cutting tools. Previously, they started using only with a single point tool. Then they have developed multi-age cutting tools to do so many operations by means of the fact the metal cutting tool probably occurred during the whole, if you go back to the history and the other things, 6,000 centimeters, and then first iron, when they found out that it is given a boom, 
yeah given by god it is from heaven they thought when people do not know something immediately they will say it is given by god this given it is a boon it is a prasad whatever they will say so the pastor here step these are all histories which goes how a cutting tool nucleus how it was found out and made the cutting tool is a better one in 1800 the 1840 the first tool was developed by nansme the high speed steel developed by frederick taylor in 1900 these are all the histories we got understand how the cutting why i am saying the cutting tool is a nucleus how it has been developed so many metallurgists and mechanical engineers they put their head together and found out what best we can give to the industry and make the industry the growth of an industry not only in that country but throughout the world that's important development of metal putting tools for slow anything any new work anything you start it will be slow then only it will pick up even if i say when we start our lecture and other things it will be very slow good morning my dear friends i have come here i will say all these things slowly then only we come to then we will see how the audience here how you are getting it acknowledging it how you are receiving it what is your reaction depend on that one only i have to develop my speech and lecture whatever it is available but i have to do it within an hour even if i stretch after 12 13 nobody will be here when i turn around somebody will go from that guy so no so that is then so anything new past it will have yeah resistance from others so progress will be slow and then they will ridicule it they will say lot of things his own work this guy is a very mad he is not fit for this all these things they will say and then finally one day they will accept the work any scientist work or any development first it will be having a resistance ridicule and finally only the acceptance like that our own engineers our seniors or ancestors worked on the one years together and found out that the cutting tools are the nucleus and the primary duty to design it that is important maybe to set or set design tools for metal cutting operation previously they don't know such a tools that a metal can be cut that into parts and make them the shape give them a very good what is usable condition machined parts for automotive industries or any industries from right from scratch to aeronautic industries or in the space field in and like that problem is to ban nowadays all persons have and also everything has been standardized the design the calculation what part the metal is to bad it has to work how it has to work what are the requirement of the customer requirement of the part requirement when they know it is readily the ready reckoner automatically it is away but you should know even today if i give a question paper to you in the same subject which i am teaching and ask you to right and also i am giving you the textbook you can see and write but you should know where the answer is available in which page and which under which chapter then only you can put your hand and see the right thing and unless and otherwise you know where to lay your hand for development and the efficient and economical working then there is no meaning of calling you as an engineer an engineer only knows the designer wherever possible use standards of cutting tool for economic purpose we are saying but the standard tools what are the standard tools where it is available how it is work you should know everything then only you can do the thing better 
advantage in using standard they can readily replace anything standard for example if you are having a common vehicle that is in for not imported vehicle two wheeler the local make you can get the spares and other things very easily in any automobile shop but you are having imported car or imported thing the spares won't available readily you have to search for spares some will be available only in chennai some only in kolkata or in mumbai and they will say it's not available here so you have to go to kerala okay like that but in the reduction of readily replaced manufacturing car helps you mass production these things what we are seeing the history and other things these are all will be taken in the cutting tool technology that is a seventh semester elective subject for you at that time we will see very elaborately in the classroom section as a classroom because these are all having so many two marks questions and also 14 marks questions clear your right then you should take you should it will be very easy just to give you an idea what is that point then if you see where all the applications of cutting tools the cutting tools are applied in various industries not only for this one if you take automobile industry a tractor industry a two wheeler industry an engineering industry and auto ancillary industries power generation unit and also applications of different sector premises in the different sector railway sector ship building all the ways everywhere in cutting tool as i told you is used on home office to applicable the basic cutting tools which we will see what are the basic cutting tools everything is being used even in our household work also we are using cutting tools and also if we take general engineering construction and machine tools all these things the cutting tools are being used because without a cutting tool even as i told you earlier a cottage industry is tomorrow when you get after your completion of your degree whether degree sheet you are going search for a job for any industry and also placement okay or some may start their own company as an entrepreneur instead of working under another employer why not i become an employer so like that if they go and do the things at that time they will know what type of industry they are starting whatever the industry is they will add they must and should use a cutting tool for that production purposes that's why the cutting tool is called as a basic nucleus of any industry so if you take here a cottage industry a small lead he is using his chisel itself as a single point cutting tool and doing hand work hand work operation here also cutting tool is used and if you take the latest cnc six axis or seven axis machines multi tech machines multi tech in single operation so single machine itself so many operations can be carried out there also they are using varieties of cutting tools for a single operation and if you take this is a cnc mach machining center so see where we were at the time so many years back some 50 years back hand tools were used in a cottage industry even today they are using even today we are using cutting tools in the cnc machine see the application of the cutting tools that satisfy all the industrial requirement industry requirement everywhere like an actor who should satisfy all his fans all his come whoever comes to see his movie he should satisfy let it be anything a married man a black man a white man a white man or different country different nation different thing he knows only different languages 
everyone is satisfied, then he becomes a very good author. Like the cutting tool solves, if you use only a non-automatic, only a manual machine, where you are using, there also cutting tool is there. And then you go for an automatic machine, even a robo machine. Nowadays in foreign countries, if you take the night shift, manless workshop, manless shift, that means when they go home by 5.30, the general shift is over, the engineers there, they will program what to be done from 5.30 to morning 7 o'clock, till they come. Everything is programmed and fed, and the robots will be there. The program will be done in each and every machine, a robot will be there, and it will be done.